This simulation was designed to show students some of the key features of series circuits. So this circuit will start out with three resistors connected in series to a battery box. Students can change the number of batteries that are powering the circuit by clicking on the battery box, picking a new battery pack, and then um, when they've got the number of batteries they want, they just click on see full circuit. Okay, it brings them back then to the circuit. They, again, they have three resistors to start out. They can measure voltage and current for each of the resistors. You just click on the voltmeter to get the voltage, click on the current meter to get the current entering that resistor. If you want to move the meters to another resistor, you just click move meters. They will slide over and again you click on the voltmeter and you get the voltage of the new resistor or the final resistor. You can change the resistors individually to random resistances. You can also, if you want, set all resistors to match the presently visible resistor. Okay. You can also remove two of the resistors if you want. So I'm going to remove the resistor all the way to the right. You'll notice it's replaced by a wire. We can then remove the resistor in the middle and be down to just a single resistor. Uh, this first resistor you'll not be able to um, remove. Okay, when your resistor is removed, it will show a resistor with zero resistance. If you want to put a resistor back in that spot, you just hit place resistor. You can then again change that to any value that you want. You can also adjust the batteries if you'd like. So instead of using ideal batteries, if you'd like, you can adjust them to using real new batteries. So they'll have an internal resistance. Older batteries that have a higher internal resistance or very old batteries that have a much higher internal resistance. Okay, so this is a quick overview of the Series Circuit Lab simulation.